Oh yeah, you knew this was coming. Let's talk about some Jessica Jones. I'm just trying to make a living, you know, booze costs money, usually. Jessica Jones, I saw you. What do you want to know? Can you punch through a wall? Stop moving, Carl. A slow moving car. The way I see it. Being a hero just puts a target in your back. I've been there, done that. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of AGR's Pop Culture Reviews. Today, we're going to talk about the new series on Netflix, Jessica Jones. Filmed in the style of neo-film noir, Jessica Jones is not content on being your average private eye detective story. There's much more to this character and this world. Jessica Jones is sarcastic, hard-hitting, obsessive, vulgar, manipulative, and sometimes a jerk. She redefines her own sense of morality. She's just at home having a bottle of Jack Daniels for breakfast as she is at thumping another person's skull. Now you may be asking yourself, why wouldn't the hell would we ever root for this person? And the short answer is, she's absolutely fascinating as a character. As the show progresses, we learn just why she is the way that she is. Now going into this series, a lot of fans have the universal question, is Jessica Jones set in the Marvel Universe? And the answer is yes. Jessica Jones is set in the Marvel Universe. Does she have superhuman abilities? Absolutely. But this aspect of her character never detracts or overshadows from the main driving force of the show, and that is great writing and excellent drama. Honestly guys, if this wasn't Jessica Jones, I would still like the show just because of the great storytelling. Thankfully, Jessica Jones strays away from the common tropes found in most superhero shows. One of the great things I loved about this show is the little Easter eggs that you find throughout the show. They constantly make references to the Avengers and they make light that there are superheroes in this world other than Jessica Jones. However, despite these cool little innuendos of other superheroes, this show still really stands alone and there's a reason for that. You see, Jessica Jones is more of a survivor story, and I use the word survivor rather than victim, as victimization would trivialize the intricacy of themes being explored here. Among these themes are drug addiction, self-alienation, self-esteem issues, sexuality, and sexual promiscuity as a form of anesthetizing one's pain. However, the show's anchor is delving into the repercussions of a person who has been violated in every aspect of the word, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. Now let's talk about the main antagonist in the show. The main villain in the show, Kilgrave, has the ability to control people with a single word. His character is really an anachronism for the kind of lack of self-control or control and helplessness one feels who has been violated, been battered by their partner, or in abusive relationship in general. Refreshingly, even the villains in this universe are exceptionally multifaceted and completely fleshed out. In the tradition of Ted Bundy, Kilgrave is a charismatic, well-spoken, handsome psychopath. His scenes simply exhilarate the show without falling into the hazards of being too cartoony, and we want more of him constantly. Then we realize, oh yeah, he's a psychopath. I can't tell you how many times I like to see Kilgrave on the screen, and I felt so guilty for liking him. It's a very interesting dynamic. Similar to Jones, we eventually find out why he is the way that he is, and we can relate to his anger without necessarily condoning his behavior. Now I'm not going to spoil anything here, as you really need to experience this show for yourself. However, there is one memorable scene during, and I quote, breakfast at Jessica Jones' childhood home that really captures the tone of the show. Simply stated, if during the exchange between these characters, you've not figured out how complex this show truly is, then you've been on autopilot the whole time, and I can't help you. Ultimately, and refreshingly, Jessica Jones is gritty, it's moody, it's unflinching, and I'm so impressed with the issues, or the range of issues that it tackles. It's 
absolutely an amazing show. Okay, so that is Jessica Jones. Marvel continues to impress in its bold directions of its characters and new shows. So if you haven't already done so, stop watching this review and go see Jessica Jones on Netflix now. Also, if you like this review, please like and subscribe to my channel. As always, I'll see you on the next AGR Pop Culture Reviews and more.